Hi there, welcome to my channel on this beautiful corner of the internet. This super full moon in Aquarius on August 1st, 2023 is bringing powerful visionary energies, allowing us to see where we are unique, yet also a part of the collective whole and being able to show up to our future goals, our mission in ways that allows you to be in your full humanitarian aspects of self. I go by 8th house sun. Every new and full moon, we channel into the collective energies and receive messages for us to work with the energies at this time. I've already pre-channeled into the guides and the collective energies, and I'm ready to begin to share with you. This is a moon about expanding our larger scale picture of how we view the prominence and importance of us showing up in the world to different groups and how this correlates to the collective. At this time, you may be seeking an expansion to show up in your humanitarianism, in ways to show up for the collective, for others, for groups, your family. Collective doesn't have to be the world at large. Every version of a group is a version of the collective. Every single group of individuals that we are a part of and show up in is a collective in itself. All of these collectives show up in service to the larger scale collective. I am receiving that a theme at this time is asking us to honor and accept where we are unique to show up in groups with others, to share and to just be who we are, yet also not segregate ourselves as different. The shadow side of Aquarius can look like individualism to an extreme manner where one does not collaborate with the energies or the people around itself. The transmutational side of this theme is allowing yourself to see the uniqueness and the beauty in yourself while also showing up to give and receive knowledge, insights, and your gifts through an equal exchange with others. There is a power at this time in owning our individualism, but balancing it on the flip side that we are still a part of groups in the collective, even when we stand in our individualism. There's also another theme coming through that you may be feeling tested to not feel that with showing up around others and other groups, that this means that you are losing part of your uniqueness and your identity. There is a balance coming through with owning that we get to show up uniquely ourselves and not have parts of ourselves get lost in the process while mixing and commingling with other people. But finding the strength and the PowerPoint in that at this time is also going to allow for this deep clearing to also happen under this full moon so that you can step into your true gifting and who you are as just a being of value and what you have to give to others by showing up as you and your uniqueness. Aquarius likes to keep its uniqueness. It likes to know that it is an individual, it is a rebel, and in doing that, sometimes this can create a feeling with Aquarius energy that is detached that it is isolated, that it is not truly a part of, that it is weird, that it is different. And this is not just subject to Aquarius energy. We all hold these archetypes in different ways. So what I'm also seeing is that the first step of energetics with this moon is owning where you're unique without inflating or isolating yourself. Then from there, with that identification, you are claiming who you are, your uniqueness. And it's only just about you. That is your truth. And from this truth, there's going to be a dynamic that moves through that aligns you to circumstances and scenarios for you to be this sole individual in service to your mission, to the collective, and any group that you consider a collective. I'm also receiving how some of us are going to start to receive strong visions about our future and what's to come through the dream space, through meditation, and through moments and deep thoughts just throughout your day. It could be while you're driving, while doing just regular chores. There are downloads that are moving through that are going to support the overall visions and the larger picture of our future and our paths. And seeing where we have a place in this world and in the groups that we show up to 
in a ways that allows us to expand our own visions for our paths. I'm also receiving that some of us may be receiving physical world manifestations under this moon that supports past previous visions and intentions that you've set before through other moon cycles. This is a time of accelerated higher visions and we want to focus on clearing away anything that does not serve because this is also in service to the collective and how you show up for others. The ways that we show up in service for ourselves allows us to show up in service to our relationships, our exchanges, our connections, our work, our job, everything. And all of that rises the collective. There is a collective theme that is moving through about clearing away of playing small or having small visions. This is a time of the visionary. This is a very evidence-driven, intellectual, energy-driven moon. Sometimes intellectualizing our plans is necessary because it allows our human minds to shift into the belief that these higher visions are possible. So channel mental space energies at this time to aid you. Allow yourself to receive evidence, whether it's intellectual, it's scientific, to support why these plans and these dreams are also possible for you, these higher visions of the mind because Aquarius energy is about intellect. I'm also sensing a lot of higher intelligence through galactic technologies. What this looks like is software updates through those of us in the collective who have galactic links on a soul level or within our galactic connections with how we show up in our soul mission and our work. The tarot card message that is moving through to share at this time is the Two of Cups and Eight of Wands. This messaging is about answering an accelerated calling to show up for others, to show up for connections, and also to show up for yourself. If you look at the picture of the Two of Cups, what's standing out to me is the intermixing of two parties. And between the two parties, there's a third party mixture. Neither of the two parties are giving away too much of themselves. They are giving equal measure of selves and intermixing and creating a third party energy. That third party energy, when we connect with others, when we connect with other groups and we connect with versions of ourselves, with spirit, there's a third party energy exchange that goes on within that. There's also a lot happening at an accelerated rate through our energetic exchanges with other people. Paying attention to the messaging and the energetic exchanges that we're having with others. And also there is a call to stepping back and cultivating where that energetic exchange no longer feels like that third party extension feels in service for both parties and the collective energy at large. There is a theme running through about addressing wounds where we have felt outcasted for being different or unique and allow yourself to sit with that theme under this moon because those exact themes of what makes us weird or different or unique are the very things that hold our gifts. Allow yourself to clear away any lifetime experiences from this life and past life experiences that may move through surrounding being ostracized or surrounding showing up in your leadership or your light in the fullest. There is a collective overlay that is transitioning at this time in regards to those two themes as well. The guides are really placing emphasis on advising us to release all past experiences that have made us feel small or have made us question our ability to show up in our uniqueness. Because until we clear those past experiences, they cannot bring us in the experiences that wish to encourage us and support us for those exact same unique traits that we have felt diminished for. Some of us may also be experiencing experiences that reflect back to us where we need to embrace stepping up in our uniqueness even more than before. This can look like energetic exchanges with other people that are catalysts for you to look at things within yourself that then reflect that to you. Or this also may be a personal nudging to re-look at old experiences within yourself that are stopping you from stepping forward in your full light, your full uniqueness. There's also an energy of owning 
our visions and owning our path. This moon is accelerating us to fully own our visions and to trust how we show up. The advice at this time for setting your moon intentions is to really look at your intentions as a cause and effect on yourself and others. The visions and intent that you set under this moon, they include a larger picture, a people, a groups, a collective, even if you may not see that initially at first. There are multiple energetic threads at this time that are tying so many different soul groups, soul connections together to create this web of life, of activationary threads to a larger vision and a larger future. We are being asked to trust in this. No matter how big or how small we may think that our path looks in comparison to the larger picture. These next level movements in the collective are going to require a lot of strength, a lot of trust in your visions and your unique gifting and your ability to show up exactly as you are, to show up in service for the highest good and the highest intent of yourself and for other people. You are truly a ripple effect and a domino and a part of this web of life and everything interconnects together and you matter. Those were the channeled messages that I was guided to share at this time. If you have found these messages helpful for you, please leave a like on this video as a ways to let me know. If you feel open to sharing any resonances down below, I love connecting with everyone. And if you feel aligned to subscribe to this channel so we can gather together for the next moon, it would be such an honor to have you here again. Thank you so much for tuning in with me and I will see you next time. Bye.